In this video, we are going to take a more in-depth look at the lighting and volumetric lights in Lightray 2018. What I have set up here is a ground plane that is 50% diffuse and 50% specular. The first option we're going to take a look at is the visible to camera option. It means for lights that have a shape like the area light, I can actually render it by turning on visible to camera. Um, this, this is useful if, if you don't want to create luminous planes when you actually do want to see your light luminaire. Now let's take a look at the new node editor for the lights. I have set up an, a smiley face image. It's planar projection on Z. And when I connect it to the luminaire color, which is the light emitting shape of the area light, we can see that it shows up in the specular highlight. And when I turn visible the camera back on, it also shows up in the in the light shape we can also use textures on illumination and volumetrics and what the illumination does is it uses whatever texturing we have set up for each light sample being taken be it a volumetric sample or a surface sample and I'm going to move this smiley face to the illumination color and you can see that the texture is being projected on to the surface and it is also visible in the specular highlights. Now this is useful when I want to do something like a fall a custom fall off gradient if I add a gradient node I choose the input which and distance connected to the gradient and connected to the illumination color adjust the endpoint of the gradient a little bit so we can see something and make the start of the gradient white we can already start seeing some lighting and make the endpoint green now when I move this we can see that light samples that are closer to the light are ten tending towards white and the light samples that are at 10 meters and beyond are tending towards red. I can also add some brighter colors to make it a little bit more evident. And this will also, if I move the light, it will move with it. So you can create your own custom colored fall off for your light. And now if I turn on volumetrics, we are going to see that illumination color also affects volumetrics as well as the surface shading. When I rotate the light, we can see that the volumetric has the same gradient from white to red to yellow. And uh, the third option is if I want the control over, over the volumetrics only, I can connect disconnect the color from the illumination and connect it to volumetrics only. So now the surface lighting is not going to be affected by the gradient, but only the volumetric is. And I can, I can also mix and match all of these settings. I can connect the happy face back to the luminaire and we can see that it is in the volumetric and it's also going to be affecting all of the lighting. The next thing with the volumetrics is we have a global settings for the scattering color. So if I have multiple lights and I want to make them all blue, the volumetric is blue, I can just take the scattering color and start decre decreasing or changing the color. 
and it's only going to be affecting the volumetrics. So, and it's going to include the gradients and the luminaires and illumination and all, all of that. We also have scattering weight. I can globally adjust the intensity of all volumetric lights using the scattering weight. And then we have the physically based option for scattering asymmetry, which simulates the reflectivity and transmittance of the particles in the volumetric scattering. If I increase the scattering asymmetry to 0 0.8, now all the particles are 80% transmissive. It means they will pass through all the illumination and only reflect 20% of the illumination. If I take the light and rotate it, it becomes dimmer when it's facing away from the camera and brighter when it's facing towards the camera. You can see this effect in live action films, especially with uh, flashlights and uh, using a spotlight. All the volumetric lights are affected the same. And I can also change it, make it inverse. Now it's more reflective and less transmissive. And now the light is more intense when pointing away from the camera and less intense when pointing towards the camera. Of course, all these options are nice to make any kinds of volumetric lights you want. I have a volumetric thruster I created using a spotlight. and a node network. I can increase the intensity of the volumetric thruster and when I rotate it, it sticks. And I've also have some animation so it shimmers with time. Hopefully you'll find this new system useful and uh, See you next time.